Hey everybody, it's Dean Guccione for Tomorrow's Firefighter and welcome to this video where I'm going to be talking about another situational question that you may encounter on your firefighter oral interview. And that question is going to have to do with you witnessing another firefighter violating the city's and the department's tobacco policy. And the, the specific question is that you're out at a bar one night and you see one of your firefighter buddies smoking a cigar at the bar what are you going to do? And that's the question that the panel is going to pose to you. How are you going to deal with this question and what are you going to do? So I'm going to talk about a couple of areas that you're going to need to cover to effectively deal with and answer this question uh, to the satisfaction, well not only to the satisfaction of the interview panel, but to achieve a high score especially on this question. And if you can do that on all of your situational questions and all of your questions in general, then you're going to get a high overall score on your interview. So, so why don't we get started. The, uh, the first thing that the interview panel is going to want to know from you is one, if you're going to do anything, are you going to, are you going to act on this? Okay, so and if you are going to act on this, then how are you going to do that? Are you going to confront the firefighter? Are, are you going to be confrontational? Are you going to be casual about it? How are you going to actually act on this? Or are you going to say, eh, he's, you know, he's off duty and nobody's going to see, so I don't think it's going to be a problem. So that's, the, that's another avenue you have as well. But I'll give you a little hint. The interview panel is giving you this problem and this type of question because they want you to answer it and fully resolve that, which is actually the next topic of the up that I'm going to cover is they want you to ultimately resolve this problem and how are you going to do that and what, uh, what steps are you going to take to resolve that problem. So, you know, let's say you're going to talk to the the firefighter. What are you going to do once you talk to that firefighter? What are you going to do if the firefighter says, yeah, you know what, I, I totally screwed up. You know, how can we resolve this? What are you going to do if the firefighter goes, hey, buzz off, I'm off duty, don't worry about it, it's not your problem. And I'll give you another little secret. It does become your problem when you witness a policy violation and that's something that the interview panel wants to hear you say. All right. Then the third thing is going to be why are you going down all the different avenues and why are you dealing with this problem the way that you're dealing with it? Okay, so, so again, you're going to act or not act on the problem. You're going to ultimately resolve the problem some way in your mind and in the interviews uh, panel's mind as well. Plus, this is going to be how you're actually going to deal with a policy violation that you witness when you're on the job. So how do you do this in your interview? isn't all that dissimilar to how you're actually going to do it in real life and, and on the job. Then again, the questions of why. And every answer that you give, the, the, uh, the interview panel is going to try to paint you into a corner. And if you say, oh, I'm going to act and I'm going to talk to the firefighter, and they're going to go, oh, so you're going to throw your firefighter buddy under the bus, right? So every time you make an answer, they're going to kind of give an equal and opposite follow-up. And as you do that, you're explaining why you're going in that direction to the panel to help them understand your thought process in what you're doing. All right? So, you know, if you'd like to see the entire video, I've got a full video on this where I actually talk about the how. I do each thing step by step. I talk about how you actually go about talking to that firefighter and all the following steps uh, that accompany talking to that firefighter, as well as finally on how to resolve the problem. And I talked to you about why you're doing this through all of these steps. So again, if you'd like to see more and see the entire video, click on the link below and sign up with your email address. And, uh, and you're going to get free information from me and from Tomorrow's Firefighter. I have a monthly newsletter. Plus, you're going to get this video, the full length video, every month that I do one of these. And this is a new thing that I'm starting to do. And I'm going to put out a new situational question every month, and you'll get full access to that when you sign up with your name and your email address. So click that link below, because uh, you know I, I don't want to um, I don't want to do you a disservice by by you know kind of allowing you to kind of piecemeal your your preparation together. You know, preparing is an organized, methodical function that you need to do, and you need to be focused as well as it takes time to do all this stuff and, and prepare the right way. And I think you're going to find out that 
I'm going to be giving you the right information and that I am the right coach for you. So um, again, I, I hope if you want to see the full video on how I explain all this, click the link below and sign up with your full email address. And thanks for watching and we'll see you in the full video. How about that? All right, take care.